I can't do that alone. We need brands. We need unions and protect our dancers and our future dancers. So that you better pop out. Show numbers. Oh, my daddy. What's your name? Well, I don't see the biggest Georgia dog. You gotta be willing to forgive. I'm telling you, you're standing before a man who had to forgive a man who... And look what I made with it. Biggest I... night in culture. That's right, I'm talking about last night's 2024 BET Awards. What's going on, you guys? It's your girl, Tatiana Vixen. Yeah, that's her name. And if you know me, you nasty. Make sure that you like, comment, and share. And best believe I'm gonna meet you there because your girl be in the comments. And I wanna see y'all in these comments because we gotta we gotta dissect some of these red carpet looks. You know I love to do it. Last night we got to see Mr. Wife Take It himself, a Shireen, get a Lifetime Achievement Award and actually have a tribute performance done by an all-female cast. The girls like Tiana Taylor and Coco Jones graced the stage to pay homage to the R&B singer who has brought us hits after hits after hits for three decades. One of my favorite performances was watching Lauryn Hill and her son, YG Marley, take the stage and do their thing. And you know, the stallion could not leave the hotties starving. Megan the Stallion hit the stage for all the hot girls and showed us how you open a show, okay? So we about to break down these looks and we're gonna rate them from one to five. And make sure that you hit me up in the comments in case you agree or disagree. Follow me. Let's go. Okay, okay, first up, Taraji P. Henson. Now, here's the thing about this look. She's our host, right? So, she's gonna have many looks. Many, many looks tonight. My thing is, this red carpet look, it was not it for me. I did not live for the hair, I didn't live for the look. I didn't even really live for the poses she was given. But, let us not forget, them last two looks that she did when she was actually hosting, eight. But this red carpet look is a no for me. So I give it a two out of five. Then you got young Gunna. Now, my thing about Gunna is he he's transformed himself. This man went from short and stout and stubby to some cock diesel dude. Like, I, okay, I, we see you. These bell bottoms though, like bell bottoms got dudes in a chokehold for the 2024. So I don't, I, uh, in the back, uh, but he fine. We gonna give him a three out of five. You could have came better. One half of the city girls. Yes, yes, young Miami is looking so sexy. I definitely was feeling this look. I loved everything about it. It's the BET Awards, it's not the Grammys, it's not, you know, BET Awards and MTV Awards, I feel like, have fun, show some skin, it's summer, what's up? I think her body looks good, her hair looks good, the dress is tight, the skin is right, it's oiled, it's moisturized. Miami did her thing, this is a five out of five. Black China, now Black China, this is something you wear to the Grammys, especially a girl like her, who has been such a sex symbol, I know. She's not on that wave no more, but we know her as a sex symbol. So for the Grammys, this would be kind of fab for her. The BET Awards, I think she should have came like more simpler. I don't know why she came so grand, but it is everything. Y'all need to get the details of this dress. It is meant to look like it's wet. The only other time I seen that was from Simona from RuPaul's Drag Race, who had like, this this wet look, literally looking like the fabric is wet. That's kind of sexy, but I do feel it's a little grand for the BET Awards. So I'm gonna give her a four out of five. The always classy Haley Bailey. She looks so sleek, futuristic, sexy. She 
and her sister does it so right on the red carpet when it comes to mixing that sexy and classy together. This is a mother. The body is everything. Halle Berry gets a five out of five. Okay, so here's the tea. Coco Jones is so weird because this dress, when I first saw it, was in a video. And for me, it would have been a three out of five. No shade. But then when I had a chance to look at it in pictures, photographs really well, poses are fab. This is the type of dress you gotta know how to move in because it is showing too much. You can't just be mm -hmm. Because just moving like that, you can make it look a little tacky. But if you move with, you know, and you pose, and you give how you supposed to give it, it's a five out of five. It's so beautiful. So that mix of, ew, and woo, I am giving her a four out of five. This dress looks absolutely amazing because of Summer Walker's shape. I don't think it could have looked good on just anybody. And that's actually a compliment. I love the simple hair with the bang. I love how cat-like her face looks. This is amazing. She looks cute, it's simple. It's for the BET Awards. Again, this is not the Grammys, this is not the Oscars. This is how you come. You come sexy, but she's an R&B singer, so you know, a little hint of classy. Love it, five out of five. Ice. Now this breaks my heart because Ice is from my hometown, she from the Bronx. But I can't co-sign this. No, 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 I cannot co-sign this. This orange hair and this orange dress and she's super light skinned, it's washing her out. Orange is too bold of a color for a girl so light, in my opinion. This is a one out of five. And it's so crazy because I feel like in another review I also gave her a low score, like Ice Spice does not do well on the red carpet. Okay, so next up we have Shabuzi, I believe his name is. Shabuzi is so handsome. He is a country singer, which I love so much about him. He doing it for the culture. This outfit was everything. It was very true to who he is, which is a country singer, a Southern boy. Here he is on the BET red carpet. So he gets a five out of five. Okay, next up we have the very fine, Corey Hardrick. He's a handsome dude. It's kind of hard for him to miss. And he did not miss. He looks sexy as hell. And he's newly single. I don't know how I feel about the footwear. I feel like it, it makes sense to have like, whatever those are, sneakers, boots. But I would have liked dress shoes. But then I feel like if he would have wore dress shoes, I would have been like, you too dressy. So I don't know. Maybe it's because the pants are a little too baggy at the ends. You know what I mean? Let's give it a four out of five. <sighs> G Herbal, cut it out. You are not going to court. I personally feel like G Herbal looks adorable, but I feel like also that you can tell he's not used to dressing like this. I hate, hate, hate with a passion when you can tell a dude is not used to dressing up. I like me a, a, a little, you know, her booger, I do, but I also like to know that he can clean himself up and it doesn't look uncomfortable. G Herbal to me looks uncomfortable. And quite frankly, the outfit itself is not all of that either. Uh, two out of five, maybe three out of five, but we, uh, two out of five. Okay, so this gentleman in the all white is named Vito, he's a singer. Don't know too much about his music, but just by the way he's showing up to the red carpet, now I wanna know. Now I wanna know. This man is fine, he know he got body, so he unbuttoned the shirt. Everything looks like it belongs. That is sex in a bottle. Five out of five. Our girl, Victoria Monet, she looks stunning. Very bold look, you know how I feel about leather on the red carpet. The front piece is a little uh to me, but other than that, she looks sexy. She got the wet look going with the hair. This to me is a four out of five. I'm pretty sure some people may say five out of five, but for me, it was something about this front piece fabric right here that I didn't live for. Congrats to you, Miss Victoria, for winning music video of the year. And we got us another BET winner, Miss Tyler. What was it? International Artist of the Year. 
she looks always put together, always so neat and clean, whether she's showing a lot of skin or a little bit of skin, she always looks so polished and well put together. And I love it. And this is no different. Five out of five. That's a man. Okay. <laughs> Tank is always coming through giving daddy vibes with his 48 year old. Oh yes. 48 looking way better than half the niggas his age. I could have did without the, the vest sweater situation going on, but that's okay. This man is almost 50 years old, so give him grace. He's looking good. I love that, he, you know, again, another person who knows that they got body, so why not show it off at the BET Awards? He gets a four out of five. Sister to Haley, we got Chloe Bailey. Her and her sister just know how to work the motherfucking carpet. They know what they doing. They are professional red carpet walkers. So of course, Chloe is getting a five out of five. Miss Thing is wearing that sequence down and she looks absolutely gorgeous with her hair pulled back. She also was one of the ladies who paid homage to Usher for his Lifetime Achievement Award. Two chains. Y'all know how I feel about leather on the red carpet. If you want to do it, do it. And two chains is doing it. Five out of five. This man looks good. He's tall. And yes, he is showing arms. It is done in such a sexy way. So good. I love it. And I love that he's a rapper, but he came through looking dapper. And this is what I mean when I was talking about G Herba, when I'm like, it looks like you're uncomfortable. It looks like you. we know you don't wear suits and stuff. Two chains, he don't look uncomfortable. He look like, what's up? Grown man right here. Love it, five out of five. Dolce, this ain't it, baby. Do you miss this one? And what's crazy is I love Dolce's music. Happy Pride. Dolce stays on repeat in my house. But this look is on mute, baby. I'm not feeling it. Eyebrows are too light. The dread, like, I'm, the makeup is, I, I Dolce, this wasn't it, baby. One out of five stars. I am not feeling this at all. And you be coming through with the looks, girl. So I'm very surprised. Who you let play in your closet? Who you let play in your face? Jermaine Dupree. Sir, you are way too grown to be dressed like this. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. How old is Jermaine Dupree? Jermaine Dupree is 51 years old. What? Jermaine, uh-uh. Why are you just like that? Jermaine Dupree, you are 51 years old. Why do you have on this bomber jacket with these Easter Sunday church socks? And let me clear something up because I saw online a lot of people was clowning him for his socks and I guess he showed that they were Louis Vuitton. I hate when people do that. I believe this is a design by Pharrell with his collaboration with Louis Vuitton. But I don't care. <laughs> I hate a person, especially like when we was in high school or whatever and they would come through wearing an ugly shirt or something and they like, oh, but it's Amiri's. Oh, but it's it's Balenciaga or it's this or it's that. I don't care, this shit is ugly. Like, yes, it's Louis Vuitton, but it's still Easter Sunday church socks with a pearl. And it was ugly. The shoes too. Next up, we got Joey Badass. And I don't know if my opinion is a little biased because I have probably the biggest crush on Joey Badass that you wouldn't believe. So this chocolate man in all brown is sexy as hell. I love it. And of course, I gotta give my baby a five out of five. Oh, and by the way, Jermaine, one out of five. Anyway, Joey, this look is everything. If there was a critique that I would do, the feet, not the feet, the ankles. Why is this suit a little baggy at the end? Like, clean that up. We could look at that and know they got your size wrong and you're like, fuck it. Today's the BET Awards. I, let me just, fuck it, I'll rock it. I could be wrong. He's still a five out of five because I love him, but in real life, it's a four out of five. Akon, one out of five. I don't even gotta explain this. I don't think I have to say why. Look at him. Look at him. What are you wearing? The feats is cute on a bitch, but on you, 
And that outfit and them pointy ass, no. One out of five for Mr. Narcissist himself. OMG, Darrell Dupard. This is a lot. I mean, you got the Cartoon Network clown shoes on, the grandma couch blanket pattern shit going on. Faces, everything. Faces eating everybody up on the red carpet. I will give you that. But this looks crazy. However, let me cook. I'm not going to say one out of five or even two out of five because we don't see a lot of Darrell on the red carpet. So he got to make a statement. He got to be remembered. So this is very clever to be remembered so people can look him up, people can know who he is. I would say a 3.5 out of five. Matter of fact, I'll even say a four out of five. It's different, it's true to who he is, and he's gonna be remembered, so. Last but not least, we have tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Ursha Raymond. Um, it is a no for me, and that is crazy for several reasons. One, Mr. Ursher, you are tonight's main focus. And you came looking very 2008, very 2009, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you have on these baggy ass, dirty jeans with these dress shoes on? It, it just was giving me flashbacks of 2008, 2009, I kid you not. That was your red carpet look and your award acceptance speech look. Like, you should have switched it up too. I would have forgave you if you switched it up. The reason why I'm being so hard is because of the fact he was winning an award tonight. He knew he was winning an award tonight. Two, we see how you looked at the Met Gala. You ate. We see how you dress at your performances. You eat. So why did you show up to the BET Awards like you was just attending and like you was not about to win the Lifetime Achievement Award? Like, what's going on? Because it's definitely given your outfit wasn't ready in time or something happened or it messed up and this is what you was left with. I get it, it happens. You cannot convince me that Usher said, this is what I'm wearing for my Lifetime Achievement Awards. You can't convince me. It, something happened to his actual outfit. I know it, I know it. One out of five. <laughs> that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you for coming by and being on time. Make sure that you like, comment, and share. And best believe I'm gonna meet you there. And if you love what I'm serving, and you love how I give it, hit that subscribe button so you're always notified when I upload. Duh. Make sure that you tune into the BET Awards and download the BET Plus app on iOS and Android. I think my favorite, favorite performance was definitely Lauren Hill and her son YG Marty. I literally was brought to tears. I feel like like where I'm at in my life, they spoke like to my soul. So I truly, truly, truly enjoyed that performance. Yeah, and I'm glad she showed up. <laughs> I'ma see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> you like that last video? Well, the good news is I got plenty more right here on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button so you're always notified when I upload to my channel. That's right. Binge watch the f out of me.